And you as an individual, Pat P, you had a big time pass breakup late in the ball game to force a fourth down. What was the keys to success for you on that play? Well, for me, you know, I was, you know, had a cut split. You know, I was in a press technique. You know, we knew we had to be. Explain cut split for our listeners and our viewers, please. Uh, for the most part, he was uh, had a close alignment to the to the to the end man on line of scrimmage. But at gotcha. that, gotcha, gotcha. Attack. Well, it was a tight end, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but uh, he ended up running the out. Like it started off running the out route, but I knew with me playing in the game for, you know, forever now. Um, with him running out with me in a press, you know, technique is that's very highly, you know, unlikely that he's the quarterback is going to throw that route because I'm already in press technique, um, in close proximity of the receiver. Mm-hmm. So I beat back just to make sure he wasn't throwing it, um, you know, so, to secure uh, to secure that play. Um, obviously, he ended up you know rerouting rerouting up the uh, up the field. Um, you know, and I knew I was in good enough position to where the quarterback was not going to put air on the ball because golf knows me better than that. If he puts air on that ball and give me time to to get my eyes back on, is more than yeah. likely going. Um, so I knew he was going to throw back a back shoulder uh, a back shoulder throw. Um, so I just kept my eyes on my receiver, played through his hands, was just far enough to uh, away from the receiver where I did not have have any legal contact before the ball got there. So just had you know, played play through his hands and, and made a great play for the defense. And ultimately, it was a sneaky uh, key play for that game. And very, very, very much so. Because like I said, that play, you know, forced the fourth down. And of course, we know how it all played out for you guys. You know, individually speaking, Pat P, how do you feel about your your performance through uh, three weeks? And, you know, I feel like I'm playing solid, man. You know, um, you know I wish there's a couple plays that I got that I could take back, like the dig early on in that game. You know, but, but you know, at the end of the day, and you know, I felt I was pretty good in the move in the move area. Um, it was a twenty-two yard in a twenty-two yard in breaking route. Um, but I was on it. I caught him right when he tackled it. I mean, right when I tackled him, right when he caught the ball. Um, I feel like my tackling is uh is, is definitely has improved. Um, going into this season, um, I I've really took that, you know, into consideration as far as me. You know, because you know, continuing to be a well-rounded corner. You know, teams are, are going to force corners to tackle. You know, and I have mm-hmm. to make your mind up. You know, going into each and every game, you know that you're going to have to make tackles. Um, I feel like my coverage is still there. I feel like I still have the speed to keep up with the, with these receivers um, in the game. Um, but I think I'm playing pretty solid. But leave it up to PFF. Who knows what they say? <laughs> hey, you know, they, they grade on their own grading scale. They got their own grading scale. So you know how that goes. Last question for you. before I get, 90, I get a 90 or, or above every week for my position, Coach. So that's, that's all that what, matters. All I want to know is who who's grading, man. It, it, it just, I just want to put some guys who actually knows coverages and knows who guy is, who has what responsibilities yeah. to say. And see, to, and that's the most important thing. You got to know each player's responsibility to know exactly if they did what they were supposed to do or if they right. didn't. You know what exactly. I mean? <laughs> and, you know, a lot of times, most defense, they play a lot of combo coverages where you got two coverages and one based on what the offense come out in. Sometimes guys might improvise. I might be a half player, but I might tell you to invert. Now we we, we swap roles. They think right? every and the man in the league, man. <laughs> yeah, so a lot goes into the coverage standpoint for our listeners and our viewers. It's not we don't get out there and just do it because we're fast, we're athletic, and we can backpedal. No, you got to be able to communicate. You got to be a thinker. You got to be able to make things call audibles to say the least on the fly, and that oftentimes happens. 